tap dance and read. Artists in their factories are working hard now, filling in steel box loads of grant application forms on an ongoing shift basis through the generations beyond making. Life is good. There is breathing space. <clears throat> the galleries are showing the normal, formal, the avant-garde, the pig in a poke. Elderly ladies, eyes closed, heads lifted, listen to mellifluous poetry and nobody's bitter. Dips from its pergola, touching your head as you pass a rose by way of caress on a chill, bright winter morning, turning on its stem, pale cream along a black path into the park. Sometimes the slits of a noun's lids open to watch a drop falling from a horn of lime hanging from the underarch of a bridge. Oh, come dance with me, ye pretty maidens, and hark the foulest song along an avenue of boojum where huge pyramids of crystal, newfangled, interwoven logics laugh at the little people tiny down there in one of the latest splashes of the hyperbaroque. It's good to be dead, past the pastoral fascists and gallery thugs. Pluck that string, it really feels like this. Cycles within cycles. And a dog out there in the dark going, art, 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 art. <laughs> yeah. A stupendous, a stupendous idea. I woke about four o'clock the next morning with a stupendous idea. That's the end of that piece. <laughs> uh, parallax on vellum. Um, again, um, obliquely, uh, part of the construction of this piece, the Parallax piece, was that uh, in collections, in, in people that do make collections, um, uh, there are a lot of um, lyrical autobiographies, so I wondered how could I bring that in, part of my life, so I looked at oblique things in my life, um, in a period of my life I lived beside a river and so on, and these images come in, so I used images, and so on. Parallax on vellum. Moving in quick time, its thin body pulsing and searching, a little fly lands on my open copybook, moving towards the letter E in a full stomp, then away quickly opening and closing its shiny slices in silence. Water moving by the bank and further out over the weir, black, brown, white cream, a fish breaks sky and it rings, repeating outwards our words out towards another over light, invisible breeze parts slapping the sides of the corridor. It's glass, listen, listen, it's glass case, sheet steel, each minute a shiver in the grass, three drops on a wine blade run together. I went to university for ten years and learnt nothing got a degree. That teaches you that nothing is something. I place a rock at a cave mouth. Who knows what it is, but it may get out. Trust me. Moving over the water and the water moving. One cherry petal on a snail's black back. Scratch and crosshatch, dip, dart, then flit through air streams for takeoff. Is that the sound of your hand on a page? I wonder the very name whereof may peradventure drive into every head a sundry supposition. Hey, where's my pen? Capture strands, surface tension, rain pellets on tawn silk reeled in. Just last week I got a new one. Here we are, writing with it now, and it's okay. In fact, I like that it flows along. That's what a pen is for, a slap. Your glowing bristles in the dark, your temporary arrangements in the larger, temporary arrangement of interlaced overall design, pits and peaks, a piglet upside down blowing on a cluster, blowing on a chanter in the margin, its tune mute, moving over moving water, ripple and twirl, working, walking, working, walking off. And uh, these, uh, some of these pieces dance with other uh, famous uh, poems. One is uh, William Carlos Williams, the American poet. Uh, I'm sure most of you know it. Uh, fridge door, icebox door poem, where he says, I've eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. So um, <clears throat> this was worth dancing with. There are several pieces in this book that do. This to say, sonnet. Drums. 
I have taken the stones that were on the rice box by the colored glass on the window ledge and put them in the small ceramic pot you made, what, a decade ago now, with its blue dots and emphatic rim, fingertips a tingle in your pocket now that I look, noticing a note under the magnet on the fridge door, plumb the shadowy dailiness sliced sideways into the careering shiver of the actual, the that in which probably forgive thanks breakfast sweet sweet.